Hello, welcome to today's webinar where we will show you the key changes to the new online assessment platform, SURPASS. The current system known as Secure Assess will be phased out and from September, all centres will be using SURPASS. One of the first things to notice is the login screen. You can now reset your own password. You will need to do this on first login. You will still have the same username. To do this, click on the link which says can't access your account and enter your username or email address. This will send you a link with a new password. This is the screen you'll be presented with when you log in. The first thing to notice is that there are four buttons along the bottom. The first one, deliver test. This is a section that you'll go to to find out the specifications that your computers must meet in order to download our software. And you'll select secure delivery. This is where you'll be able to download secure client from. You'll also notice that there are some specifications on this page underneath system requirements and also some troubleshooting if you require use of those. The next one is Ideas Portal, which is simply a place to give feedback on the system. The next one is Learning Portal, which shows handy videos and tips in a webinar format. And the final one is Knowledge Base, which are articles to read based on current queries. So first of all, to get started, I'll show you the setup tab. So this is the setup tab. Here you'll notice two different tabs. The first one is users. This will list any of your colleagues that have access to online assessment at your center. You'll also notice this blue button which says create user. Only admins at your center will have access to that. So if you do need to be set up, they can set you up. Please request that from them. The next section is candidates, which will show you a list of all the learners that you have registered for an online assessment qualification at your centre. The next thing you'll notice is this handy new search bar where you can search just by your learner's name. This makes things a lot more easy for you. You'll notice there's two buttons here that are greyed out. The reason that we can't have access to those anymore is because we no longer allow pirate learners. If you wish to have a learner sit an assessment on an ad hoc basis, you will need to register them first. You'll register them the normal way through the NCFE portal and anything done on the portal will update to surpass within 30 minutes. So we'll move on now to test administration. Within test administration, you'll see these three options which are very similar to what you're used to seeing on Secure Assess. You'll firstly see schedule. This will show you all of the assessments that you've got booked, but it's also the same place that you will schedule an assessment. So just for an example, we'll go through and create a new assessment. Select the qualification. then select the date. We always recommend selecting a multiple day assessment. Select the learners to sit the assessment. If you wish to have the exam locked, you'll select this little box like usual. And then you can review all of the information that you've just inputted. This is where you'll finalize the test that will now show in your schedule. Within this page, it's the same place that you will print the invigilation pack. And you'll notice that dependent on the status of the exam, you can either edit the assessment, or if you have it locked, you can view the details of the assessment. The next tab that we'll move along to is invigilate. 
Within Invigilate, you'll notice this is a very similar screen to what you're used to seeing within SecureAssess, and it has all the same key features. There are three new features along the top that you'll notice now, where you can filter the results based on these three things. You can select for Invigilated Assessments, Today's Assessments, or any assessment that has been downloaded to Secure Client. One thing I'd like to bring to your attention is this button that's just appeared in bold at the bottom of the screen, which says take on paper. Please do not use this option. It is not something that is relevant with our online assessments. If you do have any issues, though, please give us a call and we'll be happy to help. We're going to move on now to the results tab, which again is a screen that you will be familiar with. Here you'll be able to fill other results but you'll also be able to see the assessment breakdown and the learner breakdowns here. This is the same place that you'll get the results slip from as well. And all of those are in bold at the bottom of the screen. So all in all, there are a few changes to the new updated system. The system Surpass will be going live on the 2nd of September. As always, we will be happy to support with your queries over telephone or email. Thank you for viewing today's webinar.